This video is brought to you in part by SecondChanceGaming.com. They are a direct sponsor of me and this channel, and so if you want to indirectly support the channel while also buying or selling cards for your own matches, your own tournaments, your own duels, your own purposes, your own needs, then definitely check out their site and see what they have to offer you. I'm a big fan of how they do business, and their pricing and shipping from what I've seen and experienced thus far are both top notch. So definitely check out their site, which is linked in the description, and let them know that Phoenix sent you. But with that out of the way, let's get straight into the video. Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here, and this video is going to be another Yu-Gi-Oh! combo tutorial video, and this time it is going to be on a Performa Pal Magician Zoo combo for the starting plays of this deck that goes hand in hand with the deck profile of that very same deck that I put up on my channel just yesterday. So if you're interested in going to see that deck profile and looking at the beta version of what I'm considering as an option to play once June 12th rolls around, then definitely go check that video out. It's definitely a beta deck, it's not a finalized deck, but it's a good starting point, and it's a very cool concept. But basically, we have access to a lot of really cool combos and consistently enableable combos now that we have this card called Duelist Alliance that came out of Maximum Crisis. This card allows you to search for your Performer Pal Pendulum Sorcerers, it allows you to search for your Luster Pendulums, but it also allows you to search for Pendulum Rising, which is one of the key pieces in the combo that is going to be performed here today. Now, this combo uses zoo cards in the engine, and like it's such a good starting play because of just how these engines can complement each other and build off of each other. You use the zoo cards to gain just a couple of extra cards that you need to facilitate good starting play structure, and then you start taking it with the pendulum theme with all your pendulum mechanic based monsters, and it just carries it further into the end. And then towards the end of the combo, the zoo stuff starts blending back in in terms of just being a further extension into the combo. But basically, what I'm going to be showing you today is a two-card combo involving Duelist Alliance and Zodiac Barrage. This can be Zodiac Rapier or Fire Formation Tanky, but it does obviously change some variables later in the combo string because you would have to use your normal summon on Zodiac Rapier rather than being able to summon your Performer Pal Skullcrobat Joker later on. And then you need Duelist Alliance or Pendulum Rising. Uh, Duelist Alliance is going to be searching the Pendulum Rising, but you do not need any other Pendulum Monsters in your hand. You literally only need these two cards. The rest of your hand can be three non-combo cards, three defensive line cards, three blanks essentially in terms of pe like Pendulum combo potentiality. They could be blanks and you still are completely capable of doing this full combo string with just these two cards, assuming that this is your hand. And this is what we're going to assume for this combo sequence just to show you guys exactly how it ends up happening in the way that is most favorable for you. But, so, like I said, you only need these two cards, and out of these two cards, you're going to be generating ten cards. You're going to be getting three draws, possibly four, guaranteed three, but you could get a fourth if you want it. And then you're going to end with full scales, and you're going to end with a board full of rank fours. Uh, so, basically, it's a really cool combo. So, what you're going to do is you're going to start your combo by going Zodiac Barrage, targeting yourself, destroying yourself, summoning Zodiac Rap here from your deck. And then from here, you're going to overlay that wrap here with Boar Bow or Hammer Kong, depending on what's in your list and what you just want to get rid of. And you're going to detach the wrap here to special summon the other wrap here from your deck. Now from here, you're going to overlay Broad Bull on top of your Boar Bow, and then you're going to detach the Boar Bow, and you're going to search for our vanilla scale, the Dragoons of Draconia. Now you could be playing Performer Bow King Bear, and you could search that here, although this is strictly better because of the fact that it is a level four, and that's actually super relevant for what we're gonna be doing later. You could search Performer Pal King Bear, um, it doesn't really matter, you're basically just searching this card to facilitate your Duelist Alliance being live if you drew that, uh, but basically, um, this is just the better card to search, in my opinion, because of what it allows you to do for rank fours in the future. But so what you have here is you now have a scale that you can place in your Pendulum Scale, and now you can activate Duelist Alliance. And you'll use Duelist Alliance to search for Pendulum Rising. Because you're able to search cards with Pendulum in their name, Pendulum Monsters with Pendulum in their name, or Pendulum Spells and Traps. So you search Pendulum Rising, and what you get to do now is go into Zodiac Chakanine over the Broad Bull. And you're going to detach the Broad Bull off Chakanine, and you're going to summon back the Rat Pier from your graveyard. But this can't be used as an overlay material for an Xyz Summon. So what we're going to be doing is using Pendulum Rising, to basically make that a non-factor. You're going to use Pendulum Rising, sending Zodiac Rap here to Grave, the one that you summoned off Chaka 9, specifically that one, and you're going to use that to summon a Performer Pal Pendulum Sorcerer out of your deck, straight out of the gate, without having to perform a Pendulum Summon. So this is actually just huge in terms of what it allows you to do. 
Now from here, you're going to trigger the Perform Without Pendulum Sorcerer's effect. And since we started this play with Barrage and not normal summoning Rep here, we're going to be able to we're going to be able to normal summon Skullcrabat Joker after this sequence of play happens. So we're going to use Pendulum Sorcerer's effect to target the Dragoons of Draconia in the scale, and we're going to target the Pendulum Sorcerer itself for destruction. So they both get destroyed, and they go into your face-up extra deck, and you're going to search for two cards. So what you're going to search for is you're going to search for Performa Pal Skullcrabat Joker, since you haven't normal summoned yet, and you're going to search for, for, for uh, Performa Pal Guturtle. I'm having some tongue twisterish moments here. But so you're going to search Guturtle and Skullcrabat Joker, and then you're going to immediately normal summon the Skullcrabat Joker. Now Skullcrabat Joker here is going to be able to search you a card that plays very well with the Performa Pal cards in the form of Wisdom Eye Magician. Now from here... Guturtle Wisdom Eye isn't really that strong of a player, right? You want to try and get value out of that. So, what we're going to do is we're going to overlay the Skullcrabat Joker and the Zodiac Rap here that's left on the board, and we're going to overlay those into a King of the Feralimps. Now, King of the Feralimps lets you search reptiles, so what we're going to do is we're going to detach the Rap here specifically. You specifically want to get the Rap here engraved, so you have both of them engraved for later in the combo sequence. And we're going to add a... Performer Pal, Lizard Draw to hand. So now we've got Guturtle Lizard Draw, and we haven't even Pendulum Summoned yet. So we get to dig for even more resources so that we will be able to use in our potential you know, future Pendulum Summon. So we're going to activate the Guturtle in the scale. I'm going to activate the Lizard Draw in the scale. I'm going to draw a random card. And then we're going to use the Lizard Draw's effect destroying itself to draw another random card. So at this point, we've added two cards to our hand. We have six in hand now. And we've gone through our zoo play and we've gone through our pendulum sorcerer nonsense. Now, we don't have a scale to go alongside the Guturtle. Assuming you didn't draw any scales, you have no scale that goes alongside the Guturtle except this Wisdom Eye Magician. But luckily for us, Wisdom Eye Magician plays well with Performer Pals. Wisdom Eye, if there's a Magician or a Performer Pal in the opposite scale, he's able to destroy himself and place a Magician scale from your deck into your pendulum zone. So you'll put Wisdom Eye in your scale next to your turtle, and you'll use Wisdom Eye's effect popping itself, and you're going to scale up with the Dragon Pulse Magician. So now you've got a very flexible scale in the form of you've got a 1 scale and a 6 scale, so you can Pendulum even your Lizard Drawback if you wanted to. But from here, you haven't Pendulum Summoned yet at all. So what we're going to do is we've got an extra deck that's got a Dragoons of Draconia, a Performer Pal Pendulum Sorcerer in it, the Lizard Draw, which is a little bit less important, and a Wisdom Eye Magician in it. So we've got three level fours and we've got three open monster slots that we can use. So we're going to use our Pendulum Summon and Pendulum Summon all three of those cards. Now the Pendulum Sorcerer has already used its effect this turn, so it can't trigger, which is a bit unfortunate, but at the same time, kind of, you know, would be broken if we were able to trigger it again here. But anyway, so what we've got here is we've got this situation here on our board where we have all of these cards that we can use. Now we can start making rank fours here. So this is where we're gonna get our first of the extra draws outside of Guturtle Lizard Draw. So this is what guarantees us getting the third draw. Now we make Digesto Emerald, and we can detach Wisdom Eye Magician, and we can shuffle back a Rep here, the Wisdom Eye Magician, and then something like a Broad Bull, just something generic to put back to further facilitate like combo plays later in the game. But you're gonna put those back into your deck, and you're going to draw yet another random card. So this is your third draw. You still have six in hand. You have two scales. You have four cards on board. Like it's it's pretty good, right? So from here, even like if we go no further from here and we just slap a Dryden't on top of Chocolate Nine, we're very very well off in terms of what we've gotten a yield from in terms of this play structure because we've gotten a lot of cards out of just two. We've gotten one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cards out of this deal. So we've gone into a plus seven off of just those two cards using the pendulum mechanic and the zoo engine. But you can go a bit further. Because we shuffled back one rap here and we haven't used Tiger Mortar's effect yet in our, in our Zoo Exceeds stack, we're able to put Tiger Mortar on top of the Chaka Nine, able to detach the Chaka Nine from underneath the Tiger Mortar, and target the rap here in grave and put it underneath the Tiger Mortar as an Exceeds material. Then immediately use Tiger Mortar to detach the rap here. To summon the rap here out of deck that we just put back. So now from here we have access into yet another rank 4. I mean like we're getting rid of a lot of our pendulum extra deck resources but in the form of we got rid of the Dragoons of Draconia, the Wisdom Eye went back into the deck, uh, and if we overlay here we lose access to the pendulum sorcerer so the only card left in the extra deck is the Lizard Draw, but still we've drawn a bunch of cards to go alongside that that we could definitely use further in the game 
to make uh, to make some plays possible. So basically, what you're able to do here is you're able to overlay into any other rank four that you want to go into. You could go into a first turn dweller against an applicable matchup. You could go into a first turn tornado dragon just to have a bit of spell and trap removal against your opponent's nonsense. But what I've been finding myself doing a lot more uh, recently since I put that deck profile up yesterday is I've been going into the second Digesto Emerald here. Why? Because it's live. You have three monsters in Grave at the point that you are at this point in the combo. And so what you can do here is you can make the second Digesto Emerald. I almost want to just up Digesto Emerald to a three of in the deck because of the fact that you just have so much access into it. And so what you're going to do is you're going to detach the Perform Pal Pendulum Sorcerer off of your Digesto Emerald. You're going to shuffle it back. You're going to shuffle back the Shaka Nine. And you're going to shuffle back a wrap here. And so from here, you're going to put these back into your deck into the appropriate uh, places, extra deck and main deck for the appropriate cards, and you're going to draw a fourth card. So like, this is great. Like, this is, this is insane in terms of what you're capable of doing. Off of just these two cards, Duelist Alliance and Zoo Barrage, you have been able to gain ten cards. You've gone plus eight. You have your two scales, so one, two. You have four rank fours on the board. One of them is a defensive line in the form of Dryden't. And then you have these four cards in your hand. So you've gotten four monsters on board, you've gotten four cards in hand, two cards in your scales for a total of ten cards alongside the three that you had access to before you started your play string. Now if these are further extenders, you can keep going with certain different like nuances. And then depending on what the rest of the cards that you drew were, like they could just be further extenders or whatever. My deck was sorted, so I knew what these cards were going to be. Um, and it's like, you could draw tankies, which could let you get to rat. Or if you're playing more zoo cards, like Ram Ram or something, you can get into those. You could draw more defensive cards, like more strikes, more back row. You could draw into things like Wisdom Eye Magicians, uh, more Duelist Alliances that you could use on your next turn to search for Pendulum Sorcerer again. Skullcrabat Joker is at 3 in this list because it's a post-June 12th list, so you could draw into that again. Uh, because the one that would be in the current format is trapped under this because you had to detach Rat Pierre. Like, all these little things. Like, this is a fantastic combo. Like, you can still use Zoo as an engine in certain decks to allow you to draw four cards. And that's ridiculous. Um, like, we just used Zoo as a very good starting play enabler here for what it allows you to do. Uh, and so that's just, like, insane. But like I said, you can do this without Barrage. You can do this with just Rat Pierre um, or Tanky. And if you do that, you probably want to play Ram Ram. Because then you could send Ram Ram to Grave, bring it back off Chaka 9, you could pop it with Pendulum Sorcerer, float a rat back, do all that sort of stuff. It changes the play line slightly in terms of what you have to run and what you uh, what you are able to access, but it does still give you like King of the Fairlands, Dryden, and an Emerald, so it still does guarantee you three draws uh, because of the way the play structures is happening. I'll probably do that in a separate video just to show you that uh, that variation, just because of the fact that this one is already as long as it is, I didn't think that I was going to be rambling and explaining things for 12 minutes, but that's just how things go when I have something on my mind and I want to explain it in as much detail as possible so the people don't feel confused and don't have to ask me questions that could have already been answered. But anyway, let me know what you guys think about this combo in the comments down below. This is one of the coolest things that I think I've been able to see done with uh, the Perform Pal Zoo -like concept. Because of the fact that Wisdom Eye just gives you a free plus one, it's such a cool addition uh, to the deck. And Duelist Alliance giving us like easy and like pinpoint access into Pendulum Rising to allow this to be possible straight out of the gate uh, is a fantastic addition to the deck in general. So like, there's all these different things that just kind of mold together into what makes this really cool and really fun and really like accessible. So like, there's just all these things that like that just contribute to this but anyway as always guys like i've already said thanks for watching let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below whether you like it whether you hate it whether you're like ah oh, damn it breaking zoo again or whether you're like hell yeah perform pals and magicians they got some cool shit that they get to do all right like whatever your opinions are let me know them in the comments down below but other than that as always guys links are in the description to my facebook and patreon pages if you want to support the channel directly and help the channel grow help some future projects i've got in the works be enabled a lot sooner rather than later or if you just like the channel and want to support things that you like and you want to just help back me on patreon and help just show your support for the things that i'm doing then definitely go check that out in the links in the description all that sort of stuff but other than that again Thanks for watching. Let me know what your thoughts are. Thanks for your time as usual, guys, and take care. I will see you in the next video.